ओके नेक्स्ट एक्सपेरिमेंट विल गो टू रेगुलेटेड पवर सप्लाई सिम डिजाइन यूजिंग मल्टी सिम सो वी रिक्वायर टू थर्टी वोल्ट आर एम एस सप्लाय फिफ्टी हर्ट्स देन वन ट्रांसफार्मर इज रिक्वायर्ड एंड वन ब्रिड इज रिक्वायर्ड एंड वन सेवन एट जीरो फाइव विच इज थ्री पिन पॉजिटिव वोल्टेज ऑफ फाइव वोल्ट्स थ्री पिन रेग्युलेटर इज रिक्वायर्ड एंड वन कैपैसीटर एंड वन लोड रेसिस्टेंस एंड वन सी आर ओ दिस इज ऑप्शनल मल्टीमीटर इज ऑप्शनल आई विल एक्चुअली मेक द सर्क्यूट सिंपलर दैन दिस सो यू कैन गो थ्रू इट सो द वर्किंग आई टेल यू सो द स्टेप डाउन ट्रांसफार्मर विल रेड्यूस टू थर्टी वोल्ट्स टू ट्वेंटी थ्री वोल्ट्स इयर and in the positive off cycle diode d1 and d2 these two diodes are going to forward bias and these two opposite diodes are reverse bias okay so in the positive off cycle these two diodes are forward bias so current flows through this and through this rl it will go to this uh, uh, lm7805 ic so it is actually uh, converts uh, any incoming voltage into 5 volts plus 5 volts 7805 is actually plus 5 volt positive voltage and last two digits 05 means uh, output voltage is 5 if it is 7809 output is 9 volts if it is 7810 output is 10 volts so last two digits actually represent what is the output voltage and 8 series actually it is positive voltage similarly 79 series if you take that is negative voltage so it is a 3 pin ic you give line voltage whatever output will be regulated of 5 volts it will be regulated to 5 volts so now i'll take these components i'll rig up the circuit so i'll open multi sim so you are going to get this window okay left side we have design toolbox here is a schematic here are the components so i'm going to place the component click on place components so i want uh, ac power source so in the all group you select sources so go to ac source so place here after that uh, i want one transformer so go to group you select uh, transformer is not visible here so you select all families all groups here i think uh, i'll see transformer p q r s t so here transformer is there in the all groups you click on transformer so you are going to see this one one primary one secondary so i'll click on this So it is a 10 is to 1. So in your actually, if you are using old multi sim, you will get a different one. You have to search for it. So if you install the new one, you will get. In the college, if it is old one, uh, you have to select uh, transformer. In the components, you have to search. So after that, uh, I want one uh, bridge, which is what is the bridge uh, number? It is 3N246. So you go to all groups, type here 3N. In the all group, you type three n sometimes automatically it will come. Three and two, four, six actually should come. Otherwise, you have to select two uh, and sorry, three and.
yeah see i'm clicking all groups all families i selected the all families is if you type 3 and 2 4 6 you will get it so place here next i want 7805 so click here 7805 lm 7805 so lm 78 if you click on the component the component uh, left side all families here you click lm78 see 7805 is 5 volts output 79 is uh, 09 is 9 volts 12 means 12 volts 15 means 15 volts 18 volts 24 volts so last two digits indicate what is the output voltage i am selecting this and i want one uh, capacitor so go to basic group in the basic group oh, there is a capacitor select 100 microfarad so I, I forgot to told if you want to rotate the component you have to click control r so select this in the uh, keypad you click control r so you can rotate like this and one more resistor is required so place component resistor so in the basic group you have to select basic the basic resistor is there so you can select 1k or 10k so you can change the value later click again control r so if you want to change you can double click on the 1k and press 10k so now all the connections are over now i have to make the connection so it is uh, 120 volts by 60 hertz so go to the edge and click on this stop here again left side you can start from here click there click once again go up leave it okay input is connected to the 120 volts uh, 60 hertz if you want you can change it to 240 volts 240 volts and frequency also you can change it to 50 hertz like that so 240 volts 50 hertz it is reduced by 10 is to 1 so 24 volts will come at this so this input you have to give again uh, input should be given to between these two points so click here and come down between opposite ends you have to connect the supply click here go up, leave it now directly you connect this one to here So drag here so that you okay uh, this one if you want to come down you can bring it down leave it so now uh, rl is also connected here so if it's something is gone so you click this and delete it and redo it okay sometimes uh, the circuit will go differently so their time you have to delete it so now you have to connect this one here and you can connect the ground there only so i want one ground so place component for all the circuits ground is compulsory so it will be there in the sources so select power sources and ground button Yeah, what we did we taken uh, 230 volts rms then transformer followed by bridge rectifier bridge then followed by 7805 ic followed by capacitor and uh, resistor so now i want to connect uh, output so take a cro so right side you can see cr oscilloscope Okay, in the oscilloscope, 
okay uh, then you connect uh, one to see the input click escape if it is not controlling to see the input between these two points I am connecting input between these two points that means this and this ok I will write differently I am checking input between secondary here so in the actually uh, here it is connected at the primary side only so it will give you 230 volts instead of if you can take here only after the secondary here you will get the reduced voltage so after that now I want to set the output so output should be connected to uh, between this capacitor so here I will tell the second second channel it's connected to this RL so it should be connected to the ground so this is the ground point now if you want to change the color of the any segment so click here right click and change the segment color segment color I will check the I will make output to visible uh, green ok you can see green here input to uh, I want to change the color to some blue color so input is blue color output is green color now uh, I want to do interactive simulation so it is already interactive is there if it is not there you have to go to simulation in the simulation you have to select interactive so you are not doing any DC sweep and all in the DC sweep we have to vary the supply voltage in terms of stepwise start value what end value is what stepwise what so here just select interactive simulation interactive means it's uh, instantaneous it is coming and you can change any values in, uh, like immediately so now just run this so you should get um, constant regulated voltage of 5 volts after that I will change this one to 12 volts also then you will understand ok now I am going to run this this should be interactive now so I am clicking run button in the first channel channel A I should get input in the channel B I should get regulated output of 5 volts so let me check So now actually uh, this is running now so now in order to check the output automatically it will not come you have to double click on CRO oscilloscope you can see uh, two waveforms are coming one is in green. Now it is actually out of the screen, so you have to reduce the uh, channel uh, scale. So uh, now this is actually zero means ground. So I will just ground the channel B. Channel B is connected to the output now. So if I ground this, see that green color is coming in the zero position. So zero means ground. If you put DC, it is coming. Now from this to here, from here to here, one box is there now. That one box multiplied by this. So this is one box multiplied by scale is what five. So one box is five. So one box is five. Five into one. So output is coming as five volts. Input is actually crossing this. So I will uh, increase the scale division. Instead of five volts per division, I will increase this to ten volts per division. Okay. Now now also it is not visible. So I will increase twenty volts per division. So now you can see it is approximately one point. Uh, uh, 1.2 uh, 1. Uh, somewhere here ok approximately you can see here it is coming 22.3 22.4 so we scale down 240 volts to 10 is to 1 no? so it is coming 23 volts 23 positive side 23 minus negative side ok you click on single you click on single one time it will come and it will stop so here ok so this is for to find a 
time here between this to this what is the time uh, time period then if you take a reciprocal you will get the frequency so if you measure here this is one box one box into i think uh, 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 1.6 or 1.7 uh, something is there this is one box maybe here something is there so that if you multiply you will get uh, 24 volts okay so now this is uh, out uh, input blue color is input green color is input if you want you can reverse the color so blue color is input green color is output okay it is a constant regulated output so this is how to design regulated power supply so now i will change this ic to 7 8 12 okay if I, I don't want 5 volts i want a regulated power supply of 9 volts so just right click change the component to instead of 7805 i will click on 7809 so click ok so now this is changed to 7809 now if i run this you will get regulated output voltage of 9 volts you can use either uh, this circuit okay here resistor is actually used here so we, always we connect a load resistance across uh, last only load resistance should be connected at the end so don't follow this one you write RL here only instead of 1 millifarad you use 100 microfarad so this also will give you the same output like this okay so now Okay, this is the output you are getting. Now, instead of uh, uh, 9 volt, you are getting 12 volts as the output. Okay, thank you.